Hi, in this video, I will present a brief overview of the CVAT annotation tool. In particular, I will go over the basics of how the user interface looks like, what are the different uh, tools available, and how a typical annotation workflow looks like uh, within, within this annotation tool. To begin with, I have already logged in to the CVAT.org server. This can also be um, similarly an internal server from, from your organization. When you log in, you are presented with the tasks tab where you can see your tasks. At the moment, I have no tasks. And on the top right, you see different uh, tabs, which include projects, tasks, jobs, etc. Then you see an option to search through your different tasks. You can also sort them or filter them, as well as you can also add new tasks. For this tutorial, I'm going to add a new task. As I'm going to annotate surgical images, I will name this as surgical image annotation. I can also associate a project with this task, but at the moment, I'm just going to leave this empty. And then I can also give it what I am going to annotate in terms of the labels. So I'm going to add annotations for a tool as well as for the different organs. And lastly, you can add your files here. So this could be multiple images or a single image, as well as a single video. Um, you can drag it or click through to start browsing. I have the image here, so I will just drag it. In addition to these options, you also have advanced options, but I will skip those for this tutorial. Once you submit the task, it will be created and you'll be able to open it. And then you can see the different um, properties. For example, we have this task, surgical image annotation task. We have labels here, so you can also add additional labels if you know them. And then you can uh, access the different jobs which are associated with the images or the videos that we uploaded. Once you open a job, you'll be able to see the actual interface for the annotation tool. And uh, in this, you can see on the on the left hand side, the different tools and annotation types that we can add to the images and videos. Then on the top, you can save, you can also undo and redo different actions. For videos, you have the toolbar at the top to navigate through uh, multiple or single frames, as well as to uh, navigate through the video using the slider. And on the right hand side, you have the different options associated with the different labels that we add to the image. So now I will explain the different uh, tools that are shown in the left hand side for annotation. So the first things um, shown are associated with manipulating the image uh, for, for a different view. So for example, you can move the image, you can rotate it, you can also zoom into different parts of the image to uh, provide more uh, fine-grained annotations. Uh, once you're done, you can either double click to zoom out or click on this fit to image to uh, fit the image to the screen. In terms of the different annotations, you can provide AI-based uh, automatic annotations. You can use Smart Brush using OpenCV, or you can provide different shapes for uh, corresponding to uh, the different objects in your in your image. So, for example, if you want to add a rectangular shape, you can uh, select the rectangle tool. Then you can select the label that you want this for, and then you can select shape to activate the tool. You can then click through the image to provide the tool in place where you want it. Similarly, you can uh, add a polygon annotation. So that can be done with multiple points. Once done with polygon, you can save it by clicking on done or clicking on polygon or um, using the key and on your keyboard. In a similar way, you can add a polyline as well as uh, points, ellipse, and cuboid. 
So let's say you are um, you are done with uh, with your annotation, and may, you may want to come back to this later. So how you can save this is by clicking on save, and by simply closing the window to close the session. You can access the task again by clicking on open on the task and clicking on your job that you are looking into. And then you'll be able to uh, start from where you left. If you're happy with, the, with your annotations and there are, there are no more changes required, you can indicate this job to be finished by clicking through the menu and finish the option option. So that concludes the first uh, introductory tutorial. In the next tutorials, I will go over how we can actually annotate different um, specific objects using the polygon tool. In particular, in this image, how you can um, annotate the tool available in the image, as well as uh, the background uh, organ.